Hey guys, I wanted to share with all of you how I recently lowered my handicap and I've become a way better ball striker, all thanks to this guy, the Hack Motion. So I've never been like a huge training aid guy. I've used a couple, but none that I continue to use. And I'm always a little skeptical when training aid companies reach out to me and wanna do reviews, cause I gotta find out, is it something I would use? When Hack Motion reached out to me, I remembered last season, my golf buddy Hans was on the driving range and he was using Hack Motion. And everyone was asking me that season, hey, have you seen how Hans is hitting it? Hans is playing the best he's ever played. And I asked him and he said a lot of it was to do with the hack motion. So Hans went from about a 12 handicap to about a three by the end of the season. So to have that big and that drastic of a change, I had to try it. So this season I started as about a scratch. I wasn't playing very good. I went up to about a two, just, just under a three. I tried to go for some lessons. I tried to really work on the game, but honestly, like I'm pretty busy making a ton of content. So to work on my game hasn't become a priority. When Hack Motion sent this to me, I tried it right away. And I noticed improvements on my ball striking that day. And I've continued to work on it to get back to scratch. So let me show you guys how this Hack Motion works. Hack Motion has three different sensors to choose from, the Core, the Plus, and the Pro. The Core will give you just your wrist angles and the flexion to see what you're doing in the golf swing. The Plus, you get putting, and then the Pro is more for coaching and teaching professionals that has a lot more data and analytics. That's the one that they sent me, but if I was to buy one, I would probably just get the Core or the Plus. The Plus is cool because you have putting. I'll get into that a little bit later, but let me show you the swing analysis. This is so cool. I got the sensor on, I open the app, I see club phase control, analysis, putting stability, and then putting analysis. I'm gonna go right into club phase control. We open it up, it's gonna walk us through the setup. The first thing it wants us to do is calibrate. So it shows me to make my wrist flat. It's in position. Now it wants me to come up about 45 degrees angle, in position. Now I can see on the screen my hand. All the movements that I'm doing, it's going to mimic what's happening on the app. So now I'm good to start practicing. The coolest thing about hack motion is that it's showing you what your wrist is doing in the golf swing and it shows you in live time. A lot of high handicap golfers that I play with slice it and they have a huge cup in their wrist at the top of the back swing. Or other guys have like a big pull hook and they're so bowed through the golf swing. Hack motion is gonna tell you where you need to be to hit a better ball and it's gonna show you what you're doing wrong. So let me hit a couple balls and I'll show you what I mean. Now that I've done the calibration for the hack motion, I can hit a ball and the app will start to show us some data. So let's hit one. I'm using a lob wedge, we're using flighted range balls, and I'm using a full swing launch monitor to get my club data. I just got the feedback on the app and it says that I'm too flexed at the top. So if I click on it, it's gonna show me the target range of where it wants me to be at the top and it shows you where I am. So my numbers are off the target range. What's really cool about this is that it shows you how to fix it. So I can go into the guided drill, it shows me the drill it wants me to work on and then I can hit start drill practice. The app's gonna walk me through the drill. So it wants me to start at address and swing to the top. You can hear in the app that it gives audio feedback that I did it good. So when I'm doing my drill, I go to the top and you hear that it's doing good. I wonder what happens, so it wants me to do it three times. I wonder what happens if I have a bad one. It's not gonna make a sound. We'll go to address, we're good at address. We swing to the top. It's not gonna go to the next level until I've made a correct top of my backswing. Wants me to swing to the top, hold it. Now I can move on to the next one. So I've completed the first stage in the practice. Now it wants me to hit the position at the top. So I set up an address, make a backswing. Set up an address, make a backswing. One more to go, we're creating some muscle memory here. Set up an address. Make a back swing. Okay, I've completed stage two. Full swing challenge, so I think we're getting ready to start hitting balls. It wants me to make a shot. Let's hit one here. So it liked that one, so it's giving me positive feedback that yes, I can move on, I can hit another one. Likes it, one more to go. I love the instant feedback. 
because if it, it's not gonna let you to move on to the next stage unless you've corrected what it's telling you to work on. It's like a video game. It's, it's like a video game. So it says, well done, you've completed the drill. Before you go, we'd highly appreciate your feedback in order to continue. So it wants me to create feedback. I'm gonna to return to session. So now I've worked on my top. So now it's gave me credit for the top of my swing. Let's go to impact. Let's try to get a poor impact position. We can see how we fix impact. We don't even need the swing. I just wanna get a poor one. Impact, okay. So I chunked that one. What did I do? Why did I chunk it? My impact was too extended. Let's see how it wants to fix our impact. How to fix. A flip happens when your body stalls and your hands overtake the club. This is probably happened to us. When we come down here and we flip, we get too caught up in our swing. We try to release it at the last second. That's a flip. A flip is bad for the golf swing. How do we fix it? If you're not flexing your wrist enough during the downswing, you'll never reach the optimal impact position. I click on U versus Pro. So it's showing me through impact, I'm either flat or flipping. And at impact, it wants you to stay bowed. So for me, I think of getting my hands way far in front of the club. You see guys set up with a forward press. So if this is neutral, this is forward press. It wants that same position through impact, opposed to the opposite where the club head gets past the handle. We don't want that. Just like the top of our backswing where it gave us a video how to fix it, it's the same for impact. So they're calling this one the motorcycle drill. Uh, Let's take a look at this. The second way video. I like to do it is doing little um, position drills at the kind of um, shoulder or chest height on the way down. So going up to the top of the swing, starting down, and then taking it in and out of that movement. Then I'll do it dynamically of trying to move into that movement during my transition. So this motorcycle drill he's showing us is that when we come to the top of the backswing, to start the downswing, watch my wrist turn kind of in and down. See how much that changes my club head? If I was to just rotate, it's staying open. If I go in and down, it's starting to square the club face and it wants us to keep that through impact. If this feels totally foreign to you guys, this is why we're practicing. We gotta start with what are we doing wrong? How do we fix it? And how can we get better? I think a lot of these comparable data sensors tell you what you're doing wrong, but they don't necessarily show you how to fix it. And I find hack motion really ties everything together. It's the first sensor that I've tried that gives you the drills to get better. And that's why I really like it. Now that I know how to fix that flipping, let's see if I can do that and get a good impact score on the app. So I'm coming to the top, motorcycle drill. I'm turning towards, keeping my hands above the club. Anytime I hear that ding, I like. Okay, this is funny. This is, this is what I like about hack motion. My impact was the only thing that I was thinking of. I was saying that motorcycle drill we just learned to get through impact, but I forgot about what I was doing at the top. So the perfect swing is when we can get that top a green check mark and the impact a green check mark. Let's see if I can tie them all together. That's why this is like a video game. It's like you get one thing right, but you didn't get the other thing right. So you're constantly playing a game with yourself on the range and I think it makes practice fun. And when you start hitting it better on the golf course, it makes golf way more fun. Okay, good top, good impact. I like that sound. Well, I'm too extended on both. So that's what I'm talking about the live feedback. I feel like I'm applying what I just learned. What am I not doing? So if I go into top and it shows me my target, my target is minus three to minus 12. What does that mean? How do I know when I'm minus three to minus 12? If I go out of this, I can see my wrist. It's showing me live what my wrist is doing. So at the top, what was my number again? Minus three to plus 12. I go to the top. I can change my wrist and I can get live feedback on what those numbers are. So minus three to plus 12, anywhere in here. The second I get too extended, the number goes up and I get bowed, it goes way down. So that, that way I can see and feel where it wants me. Let's try another hit. We're getting closer, I'm still too extended at the top, but my impact has been awesome.
in those swings, I'm still too extended at the top. And one of the features that I really like is this U versus Pro. So it's saying, again, at the top, I'm getting a little too cupped. And maybe it wants me just a little flatter. So that's a really good visual to see. Okay, here's what I'm doing. Here's where we need to be. So let's try to do that and see if I can uh, fix that top number. Here's where I've been. Here's where I need to be. Okay. Fuck you to extend it. In doing the session and showing this to you guys, there's obviously still things that I need to work on in my game and I'm a scratch handicap. So anyone that is any skill level, there's always something that you can work on, but this is giving you that real time feedback on what you can improve. I brought out the launch monitor because I was thinking maybe I can show you some before shots with the hack motion, some after to see if it made you better instantly. This is one of those things you need to practice for weeks, months, that it, it takes some dedication into working with this, but that's just improving your golf game. It's gonna take some time, some effort, but I love that it shows you what you're doing wrong, how you can fix it, and if you're getting better, so it can track your progress. This is all super cool. Now I wanna show you the putting, so let's go up to the putting green. Putting, much like your full swing, has so much to do with your wrists. And putting specifically, we wanna take our wrists totally out of the equation. So when we hook up the hack motion, we've got it calibrated, now we can start doing a putting stroke. The idea is to totally take our wrists out of this. I've got about an eight to 10 foot putt, so I'm going to roll some putts and I'll kind of tell you the data that the hack motion's picking up. Oh, almost. On the app, it showed a screen really quick that shows the ideal ranges. Something that I don't really love is that it disappears really quick. So by the time I go down to look at my phone, I can't quite see it. The next screen I see is this graph. The graph is going to tell me what my putting stroke is looking like in this session and the ideal numbers. For me, I'm not a super analytical person, but there could be a lot of analytical people watching this. They wanna see this graph and see how their putting stroke is doing. For me, I don't really know what I'm doing with this graph information. I wanna see those ideal ranges, and then I can play around with my putting stroke to try to get inside of those. Something that I notice in the putting feature compared to the full swing is that if I'm not in the ideal range, it's not showing me a drill or basically how to fix it. I'm kind of on my own to figure out how I'm gonna get in those ideal ranges. So for me, the putting I think could use a little bit of work. Just for someone like me that's not super analytical, I'm just not really sure how I'm supposed to be improving my putting stroke. Now if you do pick up the pro version, you get the full putting analysis. So this is gonna give us even more data on what's going on in our putting stroke. I'll roll a couple putts and I'll show you what I'm seeing. In the pro version, you have that same sound notification that tells you when you're doing things good. I really like that about it. When I roll a putt and it gives me that ding, I like knowing that I'm doing something right. What I don't like is that it's not really giving me a game plan on how to make my putting stroke better if I'm rolling bad putts. Where in the full swing, I love that I had a drill, I had some tips on how to make it better, and I'm just not getting that in the putting version. In this pro version, I can compare my putting stroke to a tour professional. So I can look at this graph and I can see where's my stroke in relation to the tour professional and maybe there's one part of that graph that I need to work on to get my putting stroke better. What I find with Hack Motion is that it appeals to a wide range of golfers from a weekend warrior, maybe a 20 cap to an intermediate and then a professional golfer. There's different functions that are super analytical and then super basic. For me, I love the basic stuff. Show me what I'm doing wrong, show me how to fix it, they do that. For the guys that love super deep analytics, they have everything, every number, every wrist angle that you can imagine. And I am always trying to get you guys discounts on these products, so if I do get a promo code, I'll put it in the description of this video. Make sure you check out new9golf.com. Our apparel is finally released. Hats, shirts, hoodies, golf tees, golf gloves, the works. If you want to support New9Golf, head over to our website, new9golf.com. Thanks for watching this video. I'll check in with you guys next time.